Bowing to mounting pressure, Adidas announced it's ending its partnership with Kanye West, who now goes by the name Ye. The superstar has made a series of hateful and threatening remarks, including tweeting he would go death con three on Jewish people. In a recent video, he seemed to taunt the sportswear giant. I could literally say anti-Semitic and they can't drop me. I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? In an apparent answer to now what, the company has cut ties, saying Adidas does not tolerate anti-Semitism and any other sort of hate speech. Ye's recent comments and actions have been unacceptable, hateful, and dangerous, and they violate the company's values of diversity and inclusion, mutual respect, and fairness. The company says it will immediately stop production of its line of Yeezy products, but many are questioning why it took so long. I think making these statements and spreading this slander and anti-Semitism, you know, there needed to be consequences. Um, yes, I would have liked to had it happen sooner, but I'm glad it happened now. The Anti-Defamation League wrote a letter to the company five days ago asking it to reconsider its relationship with Ye. The rap star's comments come as anti-Semitic incidents in the United States have nearly tripled over the last decade. On Saturday, people in Los Angeles praised Ye's anti-Semitic comments, prompting an even bigger outcry. I hope this sends a signal once and for all that this is simply unacceptable. Ye has acknowledged mental health issues in the past. His talent agency has dropped him, and the media group MRC announced it's shelving a documentary about the controversial star. Michael George, CBS News, New York.